to everyone welcome to a new vlog it feels very strange beginning a vlog on a sunday evening but technically today is the first day of peak week ah! and peak week is basically the week before your show and protocol changes it can look slightly different for the majority of people but this is really where all the last bits just come in to perfect your physique and everything before the show so i am starting this vlog on sunday the 3rd of september she's gone past 9 30 i'm literally i've just made my bedtime team and i'm about to go to bed because i'm up at four o'clock in the morning to do check-ins before i go off to work but technically today because in one week's time i will be finished and most likely on my way back home after having a successful day and stuffing my face at Dishoom because that's the restaurant that I've booked in for us to go to after the show but so tomorrow is technically the day of the first day of peak week for me technically so we have a protocol in place which may change as we go through the week but the main thing is for this first three days no carbs only trace carbs from veggies and that's basically it fats are nice and high protein is nice and high and then come thursday friday that's when the carbs come in and then obviously saturday's day before show day so i'll update you with that sort of later on in the week so my diet going into the next few days i've got my meals prepped here because i'm out in the morning so meal number one tomorrow is literally i've got some cucumber avocado and i've got my whole earth drizzle which i'm going to be taking to pop onto that for in the morning meal number two cucumber and three egg whites again going to be topped with drizzle a bit of peanut butter and then my third meal tomorrow is 100 grams of chicken avocado cucumber and more drizzle and also at one point i think in the second meal i'm going to have a tablespoon of olive oil as well and then that's my morning not being at home and then i'm home in the evening and i've got my meal ready for that which is basically broccoli beef mince oh no i have another meal actually another meal of chicken avocado hold on yep so the meal that i've got when i come home is 50 grams of chicken loads of broccoli avocado and again gonna be sprinkling this with drizzle and my last meal of the day is just going to be lean beef mince with broccoli and trimmed beans and that is what i'm going to be eating i'm pretty sure for monday to wednesday of this week so that is all propped in the fridge and ready for me to go tomorrow morning i'm feeling really good now i'm kind of you know the work's done this is just a fine tuning coach is happy she knows what she's talking about so we are just going with the flow and doing what we do but this week's a good week, as I say, peak week, so it's my husband's birthday on Tuesday. But what I'm going to be doing is just kind of taking you through the week, Monday through to Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I will put together in one vlog for the following week. But yeah, this is the first time that I've done, ever done anything like this. You know, obviously the prep itself has been challenging, but this especially is just going to take it to a whole new level. So I'm really looking forward to it and everything's on the way and as of tomorrow feet are going up so I've got my basic no more lower body sessions at all going into the week um peak week protocol so cardio is basically at nothing throughout the whole week um training only a few times a week steps 8k so they've been dropped and then um friday upper body pump will send on the day saturday step yep and oh my goodness it's just absolutely crazy so i'm just going to show you as i go through the week but right now i'm going to have my tea i'm going to finish off my farge yogurt with my vanilla not much there because i've literally just munched on it because this is the last time i can have this for the next few days and i will check in with you tomorrow morning on officially day one of my peak but technically today is the start of peak week because it's exactly seven days out so that's the plan of action so i will see you tomorrow bright and early for check-ins and i'll take you through my day show you my meals and just keep you updated 
with what's what. But good night for now, and I'll see you tomorrow. So you just saw, hope you can hear me, I've got the fan on because it is scorching right now. Which is great and it's been like this all week so it's good for show day at the weekend, it's not going to be freezing. But I've just done a check in, I'll try and upload a photo here somewhere. Um, but really pleased with how I'm looking this morning, really really pleased. So as in, I've had my three meals so far, you saw the two, one meal you didn't miss which was my breakfast which was literally avocado, cucumber and drizzle, that was it. Tomorrow I am going to mix it up a little bit because I think I could have, you know, gave myself a bit more variety so I've got some salmon, cottage cheese and then chicken drizzle, cucumber, avocado, all that for the next um, two days. But now I've got chickens with my girlies, day number one of chickens with them and then um, I am going to be logging off at about six o'clock so I've got about three hours to get through as much as I can and then the rest I will finish off tomorrow. So I'll show you my next two meals. I've got one meal like chicken broccoli something or other and then I've got my lean beef mints and something or other. I can't really fully remember. But day one peak week super chilled at 8,000 steps and I have done 9,200 so for the rest of the day I am my feet are up here on my desk and I am chill for the rest of the day might drive over to David Lloyd and go in the spa but apart from that I have nothing planned apart from just sat on my desk doing some work so that is the plan of action but I'm going to check in with the girls and I will speak to you a bit later on when it's tea time I can't believe that my arms how they're looking though hello, hello how are you okay how are you good I'm hot yeah <laughs> So I've just come down for a little bit of a snack, just something I pre-made earlier. Just chicken, broccoli, avocado and some peanut butter on. And honestly, it's a winning combination. It's so good. Anything with peanut, um, peanut butter on at the minute just gets me 
very very good <laughs> but I just sent my video to my coach she's super happy um so we are two more days of eating like this and then we're carving up which I honestly can't bloody wait for thought of eating a bagel or oats for that matter but yeah so I'm gonna have half of this now if I can I only have half and then I'm gonna finish up doing my check-ins and then I've got this and then one more meal of lean beef mince to have later and then that's a day of eating done Goals for this past week, one win to celebrate this week with planning ahead and I know now that you've got the babies back at school and things like that, it's going to throw you off a little bit. So luckily, two weeks remaining before we start the rolling, which is really exciting. So These are all meals prepped for tomorrow. Meal one. Meal two, same with some avocado. Meal three, chicken, avocado, broccoli. Meal four, beef mince, cucumber. And meal five. And pretty much all of these are going to be drizzled in peanut butter. Tuesday the 5th of September, my husband's birthday today. It's coming up quarter to five and I'm going to pack my food and how to teach a couple of fitness classes. I am shattered this morning. This is the second night in a row. There's some sort of heat wave going on in the UK and with that, mixing with my hunger, it's just not a good combination. So I am very, very tired. Today's my husband's birthday. I really wish I didn't have to go to work to leave the house, but needs must. So I've got him his presents there and I've got him one of the cookies from the cookie dealer. Today I can't join him with a cake, so we do that. These two kilogram cookies. And we have a couple of friends coming over that he doesn't know about. So I've got him one of that to have with a candle. So I get back from work at half past one. So when I come back, um give me his prezies, have a love, I'm gonna have to have a nap. And then we're gonna head to the gym. He's got a good morning with his friends doing some other stuff go to the gym, do my session, which is posterior, minus all legs. There's like four exercises to do, just for the back, um, for my, the back of my lats. I'm gonna go to the steam, the sauna room, and then come back, and we've got some friends coming around at six. So it's gonna be a very chill day. Steps protocol today is 8K. I went over to almost 10 yesterday, but she was like, that's okay, don't worry, sometimes it can't be helped. So today I'm looking forward to just chilling out a little bit more, making sure that I don't go to 10. But well, that's that for this morning. A bit of an update. And I will check in with you later on when it's breakfast time. yesterday I didn't vlog very much at all I am um, I actually remember the last thing that you saw that was it so the last thing you saw I was at the sauna at the gym and so yesterday I was working in the morning you saw me in Costa I had just client calls and emails and I came home yesterday was actually my husband's birthday um, I, I'm actually going to insert the video of his birthday cake that I got him from the um, cookie monster I think it was here now Oh. 
my sweet <laughs> lord. <laughs> Just done two fitness classes for this. Oh, so that's what he had. Obviously, I did not. Um, and then we had a chilled afternoon. I went to the gym just to do a light posterior session, just back followed by um, like a 15 minutes in the sauna and then we came home and just had some fruition spend round. They ordered a Greek takeaway. I had my salmon, broccoli, peanut butter. And now I woke up this morning and I actually had, I'm at my lowest weight this morning, 46.3 kg. I don't know what that is in pounds. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've had a loss, which is crazy. But I, the last two nights before last night, I was really struggling with my sleep. But this morning, Last night I slept for like eight hours. So that's why I'm putting down the drop in weight too. But didn't set an alarm last night and I woke up at half past seven, which for me is late, so I think I needed it. And now we're gonna be peak week. Today I'm going to do my push session, which usually takes me 45 minutes, and that's literally it. So we're up now, I'm going to do check-ins, have my first meal, go to the gym, do push, steam sauna, come back have a shower, get ready for the day and have a nap because I think my body responded clearly really well to the sleep last night. And I've woken up this morning really looking lean and very, very flat, which is what good and what we wanted. But I think today is the last day of um, high fats, protein, no carbs, I think. Um, but I'm gonna do my check-in now because my coach is up as well, get that response and I'll check back in with you in a minute. back in from the gym just did upper body as you can probably tell and um, push day today so that was mainly shoulders and triceps then we went in the sauna it's like a mandarin and eucalyptus room followed by um, the sauna just gotten back home just had 30 grams of nuts and my order for my jewel my show jewelry has arrived from compact so if I just show you what I've got here I'll show you here now I ordered the Laura Lee earrings. They are super long, but I wanted to go super glam with the earrings. And then with the bracelet, I just got the um, the four row um, here. So I'll just have that on and then my earrings. Some people have a bracelet on each arm, but I didn't really know how I felt about that. But I think my coach has got some jewelry that she's gonna bring and that she already has. So now I'll just see on the day. Um, what I fancy, but yeah, so that's that. So today was the second training session of the week. It really goes down this week. No cardio, steps are down, and it's just basically going to the gym, doing just a pump up, really. So top set, and then so usually I do eight to ten reps, and then twelve to fifteen reps. So just to kind of get the blood pumped to the muscles. So that's what I did, and now I'm only doing eight thousand steps a day. I'm currently on almost five thousand. And I'm going to work this evening where I'm on my feet teaching like a couple of classes. So for the rest of the day, I'm actually going to take a nap and just sit down, put my feet up and get on with some laptop work. It's very warm today. So I was going to shower now, but I think I'm going to have a sit down first and then shower closer to when I go to work in case I get a bit sweaty. So this is my meal that I've got salmon, broccoli, avocado and cucumber drizzled in peanut butter. And I've just been putting some client programs together I've started packing my bags for the weekend, which I can't wait for. And yeah, I am struggling a little bit today, hunger levels, but I'm good because tomorrow we carb up. 
which I'm so excited for. Bagels, jam, banana, honey, pasta, chicken. <laughs> All that good stuff, but I'm about to finish this. Take the dogs out on a little walk because it is boiling and this weekend, I just thought it was gonna be 32 degrees, which with the amount of fake tan and deodorant I'm not allowed to wear, I'm gonna stink. <laughs> But so is everyone, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm going to work this evening. I don't get back from work till 10 o'clock, which is crap, on a Wednesday and a Thursday. So it's, I've got all the bed ready to get literally get in, go straight to bed, and then again, I'm not setting an alarm in the morning. I'm gonna get up when I wake up, and because I think that's what I need for my body to recover and just be at its optimal for the weekend. So that's the plan. But I'm gonna go with this. And I'll speak to you later on or tomorrow now. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, the 4th of September. No, 7th of September. Which means we are three days out from show day. <laughs> oh my God. So this week, Monday through to yesterday, Wednesday, was me eating at my maintenance from being in quite a major deficit and it's been a focus on high fats, high protein, minimal carbs. The only carbs that I got were the carbs from vegetables or what potential carbs may be in some kind of meat or something that I was having. But apart from that, no carbs. And it's strange because obviously when you think you're eating at maintenance, you know, from the deficit, I was like, I was a bit nervous because I was like, well, how's my body gonna react from eating this low to eating this high? And yesterday I had a drop in weight as this morning. So we're three days out from show and I am at my lowest weight, which is 46.3 kg. So just over seven stone, I think that is, which is mad because granted I've had no carbs, but I have been eating more. Obviously this whole process fascinates me and I'm learning so much. I mean, granted I am personal trainer online coach I work with women to lose weight but this is a whole different ball game but it's brilliant so today I'm just about it's coming up 7 30 and this week it's been so strange not waking up apart from Monday and Tuesday when I had work like I didn't set an alarm yesterday I didn't set an alarm today I'm not going to tomorrow or Saturday and um, because I'm trying to just let my body sleep and rest as much as it can because that's what is most likely helping with the drop in weight as well you know and there's no six minutes of cardio there's no crazy amount of steps to do no long sessions so it feels weird you know me getting up at seven o'clock rather than ten to four ten to five um but it's what's needed this week for pee week this is where you kind of take the foot off the gas and just let the protocols let your body do whatever it needs to do so i'm about to do my photos and my send my pose routine to my coach and from then on she will give me a protocol but the protocol before i sent her these what we thought at the start of the week was going to be she's giving me a certain it we're basically carb loading now for the next few days so probably still at maintenance slight surplus potentially today training no training tomorrow light upper body pump um one to two grams of salt four liters of water a day and that stays the same and yeah focusing on just carbs but minimal fat so no avocado peanut butter salmon all that kind of thing it's more rice pasta and rice cakes bagels banana honey jam <laughs> i'm so excited for so i'm gonna get these check-ins sent to her now so i can maybe have some food and also have myself a coffee because i'm not that i feel super tired but i need to wake up a little bit and but yeah so let's get these photos on the way the morning like oh i just wanna be your superman come fly with me just take my hand so we've had the update from coach she's happy Body has responded perfectly. I will put a photo of my last check-in of the high fat days here for you. As I said, we had another low weigh-in, which is crazy, crazy. But she said, my legs are coming in now so, so well. Um, inflammation's come off, body's responded perfectly. So we're looking super flat. So now we're going in with carbs. And we have today 
Fats have gone low. Maximum 30 grams, but we're trying to keep it sort of 25 grams or below so my body can just soak up the carbs. 100 grams of protein, usual sources, and 300 grams of carbs, which means from how it was last week, calorie-wise, I've had a raise of almost a thousand calories <laughs> today from what I was eating last week, not the last few days. So I couldn't wait to show you. I've had two rice cakes already. I've got one. I'm trying to pace myself throughout the day because I want to just sort of enjoy it. So I'm going to have the third rice cake now just with some jam on. And then so far, food-wise, what I've planned, you can tell how excited I am. I'm literally buzzing. 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 I'm also having my little espresso as well. Double espresso. So I've still got 92 grams of carbs remaining and like 500 calories left. So I've had my three rice cakes this morning. And then I'm coming back, I'll be having oats, banana and honey. Then my third meal, chicken, pasta, rice cakes, veg. Fourth meal, bagel with banana, honey. And then I've got chicken breast, rice, broccoli, cucumber for my, um, me for my fifth meal. And then meal number six, I'll probably have another bowl of oats. And then throughout the rest of the day, we'll be added in rice cakes as we go through. Oh. Honestly, after not having rice cakes or anything with a crunch for three days, apart from nuts, but I was fine. Okay. This is literally. Mmm. Yama! <laughs> so, plan of action now. Have this. Take the dogs out. We're gonna I'll pop to the sauna just for half an hour this morning. Then I'm coming back, showering, emails, need to pop to the post office. And then at 11, I'm getting my brows and lashes done. One o'clock, I've got a call with a client who's returning, catching up with her, she's moved to the US, she's had a massive change, so she's just filling me in on that. And then I'm teaching this evening. And then, it's feet up for the next few days, so this vlog is gonna end tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm packing my bag and getting sorted. So that will end the Pete Wheat vlog, and then the vlog after that will be the show day, show day weekend and show day. So I'm going to finish these off. And I'll see you. you know, so just gotten back from the gym. Sorry if you can hear the dog outside, he's barking at a bird. And it's now breakfast time and we are going in with 50 grams of oats, which I can't deal with, but I am so excited and so unbelievably here for it. So 50 grams of oats there. I'm gonna pop in some water with it and some vanilla flavor drops. Beautiful, a couple of drops here. And I'm gonna have this with banana and some runny honey, so. Super duper sweet. Put that in the microwave. And I think my second bikini that I'm renting has just arrived, along with my robe as well, so we'll have a look at that in a sec. And then this here is the bowl of absolute joy. Oh, wow. So, the last few days, I've been pushing on and you know, in the zone, sort of like a survival mode. But I'm you don't realise how much, like, <laughs> you truly appreciate food like this when you can't have it. Mmm. I'm actually going to maybe put a bit of this in a rice cake, see what that's like. Mmm. Load this on there. Oats and honey on a rice cake. <sighs> Why not? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Good shower, Emily. Oh, freshly showered, and I've got my big two litres of water that I'm making my way through this morning. Um, and now I'm going to get my brows and my lashes done, because let's be honest, they're not in a great state. It's actually a client of mine that does my lash and my brows, so it'll be nice to catch up with her as well. And then I will see you when I'm back in about an hour, looking a little bit better than I do now. Right, so I've just got back in the office now, and I'm about to hop on 
on this call with a client who is returning. She's done the 12-week program with me before and then she had a few things going on, but she is back now and she is joining. So I've got one minute before I'm gonna hop on with her, but I had my lashes done so much better. The brows just got neatened up as well ready for Sunday. But I just got in and I just had um, another rice cake with some jam and then I've got my lunch to have after this which is pasta, chicken, broccoli. And then just before I go off to work I'm gonna have my bagel and then I'm gonna take with me chicken, rice, broccoli, cucumber and then before I come to bed I'm gonna have some oats tonight. So this is a really, really good day but I'm just gonna hop on now with this call with this lovely lady and I'll be back in a moment once I've spoken. Hello! Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes. How are you? Doing right. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So we're sat down now for meal number three. So, so far today I've had five rice cakes, my oats, banana, runny honey, jam, all that stuff. Meal number three is 60 grams of pasta, 100 grams of chicken, broccoli, and some fat-free cottage cheese. Next meal is gonna be bagel before I go out to work with honey and a banana. And then meal five I'm taking with me. Same as this, except I'm adding cucumber, salsa, and jasmine rice instead of pasta. Then when I come home tonight, I've just got oats, jam, and honey to finish off the day. But a lovely call with um, my client just then. She's in, um, I was starting her a week early, but I technically she doesn't start the program until the 18th, but this week she's had a big move to America, so we're just getting her back in a routine. But really love to catch up. Um, and I'm topping this. I've told so many people about this. I mean, not that many people don't know about this, but it makes any meal tastes better. Almost tried it on my oats the other day, but <laughs> I refrain. So, bikini number two has just arrived. So, I'm going to open this one. My, um, my robe as well also arrived. So, this is a bit, of course, in black and white, but bikini number two has arrived actually really like this one as well so i might just take both with me and just see which one to prefer on the day and then of course we've also got the satin robe as well for the bikini reveal everything that i'm taking is black this is my little outfit for post show this is obviously the robe and then this is all everything that i am packing with me my new katie loxton bag from my hubby in there I've got all some of my bits, ignore this bag. And then this is what I'm taking with me for the night before. Then I've got all my black jogging bottoms are just there drying. Going in here, black towels, hand towel, black top to wear, black bedding to wear, <laughs> all to protect everything from the tan. But yeah, so it's just coming up quarter to three now. I've got a little bit of work to do for half an hour and then I need to have my fourth meal, which is my bagel which is the one that I'm waiting for and I'm so excited for. And then I'm going to do a second weigh-in and check-in with my coach before I head out to teach my classes tonight, so. This is the one that I am the most excited for. Runny honey, 20 grams with banana so i'm going to do the runny honey first 10 grams on each oh my goodness honestly you don't realize how much you miss food and you've not been able to have it for however long oh glorious right spread that on there banana on the top oh. right. here we go wow Mm. Why don't I have this regularly in normal life? Like banana and peanut butter, but not honey. I always watch videos of girls like, eating something. I was like, I'm, I'm never going to be that person who's like, oh my goodness, bacon. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. And I'm absolutely going to be uploading that video of me eating that post-show treat in my bikini. 
and relishing over it. Mm, right. I'm gonna go enjoy this. So just to wrap up today's vlog, Thursday, finishing with a little bowl of oats with some jam and honey and it's just come up, don't look at that clock, it's the wrong time. It's just coming up quarter to 10, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna get in bed, hopefully be asleep by 10.30, because then tomorrow morning I'm up and I'm going to the gym early to get my session done before my nails at nine. So I'll see you in the morning, I'm on tomorrow's plan, up, session, gym, nails, and then I'm going to pack all my bits and then that's when I'm going to leave tomorrow's vlog before we go into the show day weekend. But yeah, so we'll be up for check-ins in the morning. We'll update you how we go after eating all this food today. How we look, how we weigh, even though weigh is not really important, it's just how the look is. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to enjoy this. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, the 8th of September, which means we are two weeks out two weeks two days out from show day on sunday absolutely crazy i feel a bit more myself this morning mainly because i'm getting up nice and early it's just gone past six o'clock i'm getting up to do my check-ins i'm just literally giving it five ten more minutes to let the sun come up a little bit more do my check-ins and this is why this sport baffles me and it interests me so much so as we know yesterday I was carb loading, I was actually in a surplus by about 300 calories yesterday and my coach said last night, told how much weight I gained which was about like 700 grams by the end of the day and she was like you're going to wake up and you're going to have lost weight, she's like the weight you've gained is basically you going to the toilet in the morning and I was like okay, like, that's mad but okay. Woke up this morning and new low way and prep. <laughs> it's literally madness. I can't believe it. Um, but I'm hoping when I look at myself, I look lean still, but I look better, which is the whole point. You, know, you don't want to be looking ill and all stringy. So I'm about to do my check-ins, get my feedback from her. But this morning on the cards, we're going to the gym at about seven, which is why I'm up early. It's just coming up 20 past six go to the gym she's giving me a specific upper body pump to do so I've got to make sure that I take my pre-pump workout I've also been given the go ahead to have a couple of sweeties so I've got a little bag of squashies to have pre-session potentially a few afterwards as well and then today I'm just planning on eating as much as what I did yesterday same thing except I am adding in one extra bagel and getting rid of something else because it was just too good to be true and I'm actually having a FaceTime with Becky about half past 12 just to go through a couple of my mandatory poses and then she can see me then and let me know the protocol for the rest of the afternoon. But that is the update. As so now it's actually all of a sudden gotten brighter so I'm going to head out, do my check-in photos and then hopefully she's getting up half past six hopefully before my day begins. She can send the protocol but here we go, it's going to be another warm one today. So it's going to be hot but let's go. I ate an influx in carbs, I was in a surplus yesterday and it's been absorbed really well intramuscularly um, and that's why I've lost weight showing that the carbs that I had didn't really touch the sides um, but that's just a good thing because it shows that my body absorbed it really well which is why we had and um, we've got two carb days here and um, just so we can kind of gauge so she's um, just figuring out what to put me on today and pre-workout, just had my three rice cakes my coffee, I'm having my pre work, my so I've had my fruit rice cakes, my coffee, I've been having pre work as well, and some squashies. So, this is going to be a really good day. So, now some drawing, get a pump on and see how we look. So, on show day, if I look good now with the glaze and everything, you just have to take some along, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
you initially? Okay, then I doubt them out. When that is. That'd be great, then. All right, so that is gym session done. Just to get a little light pump on, pump acquired. And apart from show day now, where I'll have some light weights and bands, that's it. So today now I'm on my way to get my nails done. And then I am coming back, two client calls, and then we're packing the bag and we're chilling. And we're going, getting ready for show day. So I'm gonna go get these taken off because they're horrendous. I'm gonna get a little French polish, so see you there. All right, so I've just gotten back from getting my nails done. Super simple. I mean, I'm not really a super, super glam kind of gal. I like simple. So I could have gone with a bit of glitter, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go play because there's enough fake tan and glam and glitter going everywhere else for that. So back from there, now it's just coming up 11 o'clock and I've got two calls with two potential clients. So I'll be done at around half past 12, so about an hour and a half there. And then we're popping out to town. I need to go to Asda to get my food for tomorrow and Sunday. And also go get a pick and mix for show day. I need to go to Claire's accessories. And then that's it. So I'm gonna hop on with this call and then pop out, come back, pack, and then that is when I'm gonna leave this vlog. Oh, it's all getting very real now. So I'm just about to start packing everything away. But these are, I was gonna get myself a pick and mix. Couldn't find a shop that does proper pick and mix, so I'm gonna make my own. So paracetamol, ibuprofen, just standard squares bars, rice cakes, and these are the sweets of choice. I've got some fruit pastels, Skittles, my favourite squashies, Haribo Tang Fastics, and regular Haribo Star Mix, which is just stunning. So I'm gonna make my own little bag and take my own little snack. And then if I just bring you downstairs, unsure, oh, hi Paul, <laughs> unsure of what food I'm going to be taking exactly tomorrow. So I've just bought the usual food that I have. So I'm, I'm sticking with chicken. I, as much as I want to have salmon, I feel like it's going to be best if I just stick with chicken the whole time. So I've got chicken, broccoli, rice, cucumber, far-free cottage cheese. Um, and that's pretty much what I'll be, I think, having tomorrow. I've got some Fars yogurt as well, which I'll have. And then, of course, peanut butter. Taking a ton of that. Actually, I'm going to get that out now so no one touches it. I'm going to have to take all three with me because I don't know if, I'm, <laughs> if I've got enough to have. But I've got all the flavours. I've got just the regular drizzle peanut butter. And then I also have the chocolate one, but I don't think I'm gonna take that. And then of course, everything but the bagel sesame seasoning, that's going as well. And then all the meals that I'll be taking will just be the standard ones. But right now I'm gonna have my um, third full meal of the day. And then after that, I'm doing my final check-ins at about four o'clock with my weight to my coach to see what how where we're sitting. And then we're gonna go from there. So they do say that when you start eating again, normality after prep, you do become a bit of a bottomless pit. And I must admit, in the last two days with eating in a slight surplus, eating all these carbs, I'm already kind of feeling it. Like, um, but I think it's more excitement like that I get to eat all of this. Um, but I'm really too excited to have regular diet again. But after this show, fortnight we go again, so I can't enjoy it for too long. But nearly there, nearly down to put my feet up and chill. So this is me pretty much done packing. In here is towels and bed sheets for the hotel along with a jumper just for me if I need the evening after the show on Sunday. And then in here is all my clothes, all black. It's just literally black tops, baggy black tops, baggy joggers, baggy shorts. This is my little outfit for the evening there. And then in here I've got, this is my bag of my bikinis and my robe for the reveal. In here is rice cake square bars. I've got all my sweets, but I'm actually going to make a little bag, get a little sandwich bag and make that. This is my jewellery that I'm taking with me. And then I think that's it. I can't really do too much more now because all I've got to put in is the food that I'm cooking for tomorrow, which is going in a separate bag. And then all my toiletries. And then apart from that, I've got all like chargers ready to go. And then that's it. And worst case, if I forget anything, my husband's coming on Sunday. So that's fine. Oh my goodness, we're nearly there. 
start of the season, nearly there, show number one. I've just done a weigh-in as well and since this morning I've literally put on, like, I've eaten quite a lot and I've gone from 46.2 to 46.45. So, I don't know what coach is going to say. She might even amp it up and get, tell me, you know, eat a little bit more, I don't know. But I'm about to do photos for her for the final time, but... I'm going to end this vlog here now. So the plan of action is what you'll see in the second vlog in, well, show day weekend vlog is I'm traveling to Birmingham tomorrow, I'm going down by myself and I've got my hairdresser. She's staying overnight, so I'll see her. My coat's going to be there. I've got my tanning at 6 p.m. for the first layer and then I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. Following morning, my tan is at 9 o'clock a.m. for my second base. My makeup is at 10.45, somewhere between there I'm going to be getting my hair done and then at 12.45 is registration for me. I'm on in the afternoon, probably not till like at least three though. And then it's just going to be a case of coaches with me, checking up every minute, scoffing sweets and just getting ready. So we're nearly there, I've, I don't even feel like it's happening, it's crazy. But I'm going to go now so I can edit this vlog and get it uploaded and then I will see you in the next vlog when it's show day weekend and hopefully we have a good run. But thank you for watching this. God knows how long this is gonna be. I'll try and, I will have tried to keep it as short as I can. But thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping up with this journey. This has been weeks and weeks and weeks in the making and now we are heading into the first show of the season and I'm so ready for it. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>